Hi, it's Mary with All That's Crafty, and I'm here with a little tutorial and a project share. I showed you guys in a previous haul these cute little mailboxes from Target's Dollar Spot. They were just a dollar. And I'm going to cover these around the bottom here. They're, they're for my grandkids. So what I've done is I've taken some cardstock, and I'm going to give you the dimensions. I cut two pieces at three inches by two inches. And then I took the smaller piece for the sides like this, and that black cardstock is cut at two and a half by two inches. And so I've made two of each of these so that they can be on each side of the bottom of the mailbox because I want the lid to be able to come off. And then I took my printed paper, or as some call it DSP if you're used to stamping up terms, and I cut the DSP on this one to my cheat sheet says two and a half. Let me make sure because that is wrong. That's actually two and no, it's one and seven eighths deep. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the wrong line. Yeah, this is two and seven eighths across this way and one and seven eighths deep. Okay, so I'm gonna give those to you one more time. The black card stock is three inches across by two inches down. This piece of cardstock for the sides of the mailbox are two and a half across and two inches down. And the printed paper is going to lay on top of this one. And that one is two and seven eighths across by one and seven eighths down. And then for this side, on the sides, it's two and three eighths across and also again one and seven eighths down and what I did to just adhere this to the cardstock was use my AGT you can use your favorite adhesive and I am putting a great deal of adhesive on this because this is for little kids and I do want them to be able to play with their boxes and not worry that these decorations are going to fall off and so that they can keep them and you know put them out each year and just get to play with them so I put quite a bit of adhesive on there like I said and then I'm just going to line it up and put this on the bottom so I'm just making sure my three sides look good and then I'll stick that down it's kind of hard to hold it because it's a little far away if it's not exact it's for a two-year-old. They're not going to care, so I have to, you know, remember that. If it's not exactly perfect, little people don't care. They're not going to critique it. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've made all of these for the mailboxes. So we have a total of four for each mailbox. And so these are the ones I used for the pink. I actually used Hawaiian Shores from Paper Tray Ink. This uh, pink paper with the white dots is a, off of a 12 by 12 pad of Simple Stories paper that I have. And then this Mickey Mouse red and white printed paper is actually from a hot off the press 6 by 6 pad that I've had in my stash for, for some time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put adhesive on the center of these in the back so that they'll stick nicely and then around the edges of the back I am going to use the multi matte medium to glue these onto the box because I'm really trying to think of what's going to be the best adhesive to keep these from being able to be pulled off because this is smooth and I'm hoping we're going to give this a go and see how the matte medium works because what I like about this too is it doesn't, uh, it's a matte finish, so it's not going to be glossy if it gets on the mailbox where I don't want it. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of my AGT on here because I think this will help hold it on while it's drying because I'm going to go ahead and do all the sides. Set that back. And I like this size. Um, this one I actually got at Hobby Lobby. It was $3.49, was the regular retail. And this actually has a brush applicator inside. So I do like that it has a brush because sometimes you need the little squirt bottle and 
sometimes you actually want to brush it on so I can get a really good coverage all the way to the edge. So we're going to cover this up. Get it really good. Getting some of it in the middle of that as well. And I have just a couple of spots where it didn't get right here in this corner and in that corner because that's where I was holding it. So, put that back on there. I do have some right there on my table I want to watch out for. And then I'm going to put this on the front of our box, nice and centered. And like I said, if it wiggles around and it gets where you don't want to and the glue shows, it's going to be a matte finish, so it really won't matter. So I'm just going to make sure I got all the sticky off my fingers. And I'm going to hold that and give this a really nice push down. What I like with the brush is that the glue, when I applied it, is you know pretty decently spread out across the back of the cardstock. The only place I see a little bit of extra adhesive is right on the bottom here. So you can see that that's that's what was extra. So I'm going to pull that out. And I think that looks pretty good. So there's one done. Okay, I can actually smear this on the back of this one. And what I do want to do is dry this off because I don't want to get this adhesive here on the back of another one of my pieces. So I'm going to be really careful there. And I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing all the rest of the side pieces and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I have completed adhering the cardstock and paper to all four sides of the box. And I have to say, I'm totally in love with this matte medium. I did put a little bit of score tape on the back of each of these and then I applied it with the brush over all the back of the paper and it was great because I got a little bit of wiggle room um, to get the paper exactly where I wanted it on my project and it's it stuck right away um, even though it wasn't permanent um, it was it was you could feel the, the sticking power to it already so now I'm going to go and figure out exactly what I'm going to use to decorate the fronts and the backs and the sides and I think what I'm going to do also is go ahead and make another card to put on the bottom and this is where I actually write my valentine to the kids and um, you know my name and the year and everything so that they will have that you know as a keep part of when I made the boxes for them so let me go find how I'm gonna decorate these I do have some ideas definitely need doing the Mickey Mouse to my grandson thinking about mini but I got to see what mini stuff I have in my stash if not we're gonna go princess so anywho I'll be right back hi I am back with the mailboxes and I want to share with you how I finished them I just went through all my stickers and stuff and I have a great deal of Disney stickers and so I just really wanted to do a Mickey Mouse and a princess is how it ended up. So let me show you Hannah's first. I used a pack of, I'm going to hold it here for you, sorry I'm trying to learn how to do this better. This is a stickers pack that I got don't even know where anymore but it was like a Hallmark sticker pack and let me show you I do have one of the sheets left this is what the sheet looked like and it's just um, sticker um, from Hallmark like I said and so I took those and then I also used some other things that I had and glued them all in place and then the flowers are from a princess um, sticker set that I had. So I'm going to turn it this way. So here is the other side. There are stickers here, stickers up here. And the great thing about these stickers is that they had a clear back. So I thought that was really pretty. And they do have glitter on the stickers. Let's see if I can get it to tilt around. 
and then this is the back and I put a heart right there the sticker here is the magics in your heart which I thought was really cool for Valentine's and then here is the other side so I tried to mirror the um, stickers that were here with this side and I also paid attention to what direction the girl um, I should say Rapunzel is looking so that she's looking towards the front of the box with both of these stickers instead of looking towards the back of the box so there we have it and I am thrilled with it I had a, also this clear princess sticker and I put that on the box and then added a little enamel heart on the top there. And I really love how it turned out. So let me show you my grandsons. Of course, he is so into Mickey. And I knew I was going to do his and Mickey. This is actually like, um, almost like an epoxy sticker. It's dimensional. And... I love it so I got the Mickey on there so it's Mickey mail and hers is princess mail I thought that's kind of funny and this is just more stickers um, for my stash this one actually came off a sheet that looked like this and oh this is actually an old creative memory sticker this little or I should say these two little hearts here came off of this which you saw in a haul recently from Target and then these little round enamel dots are from Doodlebug and then we're going to turn it to the side and this is like a postage stamp looking set I'm not sure I think they may, they may still have that um, at like Joann's or something this heart here also came from the AC Moore and this little head is actually kind of like soft and it's not fuzzy it's almost I'm not even sure what kind of texture to call it because it's kind of soft like felt but it's definitely not a felt heart but it does have some soft texture to it so I put that and this is the sticker sheet that that Mickey came off of and this is a sandy lion so <clears throat> so you may be able to find that if you really are interested and then on the back, I had this, and this was actually on a sheet of, like, embossed cardstock that was colored. And I cut him out, and I'm trying to see. I don't have the sheet. Let's see. I've been working on this and just, you know, got it done, so I wanted to share it with you. This is the sheet that he came off of. He was, like, right up here, and it has... You know this tag and these greetings and these borders and then this was parts of another sheet and it had like all the names of the characters and it's really nice because it is embossed cardstock so really super cool so I have Mickey and then I took this heart off of one of the princess sets because it was red and I liked the fact that it was red because the other hearts are pink and then once again I had um, one of those little Mickey heads, another one of the postage stamps, and then I had some stars, but you really can't see them very well because they're a uh, clear yellow epoxy, but they're on there, and then a second heart. And back to the front. And I am going to layer the black and the red and white cardstock here, and then put another um, piece of cardstock on top of that so I can you know do happy Valentine's Day like I talked about I'll show you Hannah's I actually did finish that part so this ended up being I think it's like three and a half by two or something like that but it's really easy to measure it and then just come in a little bit so there's that I just have to cut out a white piece of cardstock do my stamping happy valentine's and um write my little message to my hannah and then that will be on the bottom and then in the top i love this i'm going to make them some little cards to play with so they can put them in the mailbox as well as some little treats in here um my grandchildren it's very strange they don't eat candy um they 
they just look at it and you my Hannah is special needs so Hannah just looks at it and she is five and a half now and you cannot force her to do anything like eat so um, she, she just is not interested in it she won't try it she won't lick it you can talk to her about it and she just looks at you so um, so I probably put a little bit in there just because it is Valentine's Day and you know they might decide that they want to try it this year like a Smarties or something like that um, and then the same for Benjamin I guess because his sister doesn't do it he mimics her even though he, he's just two so um, I'll put some goodies in there and some pretend mail so they can play with their little mailboxes but anywho there you have it our sweet princess and Mickey Valentine box just in time for Valentine's Day and I hope you have time to make something crafty for you or someone in your life. Bye!